Hey guys, this is Diane from Treasures from Jones Health and Wellness. Today we're going to give you a basic understanding of the ketogenic diet. We will cover how ketosis works so you can determine if this diet is for you. The keto diet is a low or zero carbohydrate diet. This diet focuses on making fat the primary source of fuel for the body. Our bodies are used to using carbohydrates as fuel. Fats, which are a secondary source of fuel, are rarely tapped on. That means the extra fat is stored and keeps adding on the pounds. The only ways to reduce fat in a normal diet are to consume less fat and work out crazy to burn more calories than you consume which is why most people fail to lose weight on conventional diets. On the other hand, the ketogenic diet uses fat for fuel, which means it gets used instead of being stored. So weight loss becomes easy. In addition to weight loss, the ketogenic diet is known as the healing diet. The lack of sugar intake has been proven to help and prevent many diseases such as heart disease, high blood pressure, cancers, epilepsy, and many symptoms of aging. The manipulation of carbs, fats, and protein is critical in order to get into ketosis. It's a state when the body, deprived of the usual carbohydrates and sugar, is forced to use fat as its primary fuel. So the ratio of fats and protein are significantly higher than carbs in general. Of course, consuming less carbs also means lowering the amount of insulin in your body. Less insulin, less glucose and fat storage. That is why the keto diet has been so successful in helping people with diabetes. It adjusts the sugar level naturally. The ratio of carbs, fat and protein can vary. Many people allow themselves up to 50 grams of carbohydrates a day and still lose weight. On a stricter regimen, the carb intake can be between 15 and 20 grams daily. The less carbs, the quicker the weight loss, but the diet is very flexible. On the keto diet, you don't count calories. You count carbohydrates and adjust the intake of carbs versus fat and protein. A typical keto diet will get 60% of its calories from fat, 15 to 25% of the calories from protein, and 25% of the calories from carbohydrates. The only limitation on the diet is sugar, which you need to avoid. The ketogenic diet is not a fad. Many scientific studies have shown the benefits and healing effects of ketosis. Discuss the ketogenic diet with your doctor if you're interested in consuming less sugar, losing weight, or as a preventative measure against vulnerable health diseases. Thank you very much for watching episode one of the Ketogenic Diet Review. Treasures from Jones focuses on everyday simple health and wellness topics that we hope you'll find valuable. If you like this content, please like, subscribe, comment, tell a friend, and repost. Also, please hit the notification button so you'll know when we post episode 2 of our series on the Keto Diet.